guys, so the first thing I'm doing is priming my skin. I'm just using the Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade, which you guys know I love. And then I'm following up with foundation. I'm using the NARS She Glow Foundation. And this one's in the shade Punjab. And I'm using a new Wet n Wild brush that I just bought. It's a flat top buffer brush and I am obsessed. It is so soft and so beautiful for such an affordable brush. So I'm just applying that all over my skin. And then I'm using another new product, which is the ColourPop um, Sculpting Stick, I think it's called. And I'm just outlining where I want to contour my face. And I first applied quite a small amount because I thought it was going to be really pigmented and dark. But as I blended it out, I was sort of a bit surprised that it kind of blended into nothing. Um, so I think you kind of have to work this product up. So I just blended it out using the... Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and you can see here I'm kind of like, uh, it's not really doing much for me but um, yeah, I'm going to keep trying it out. Moving back onto the eyes, or no, moving onto the eyes, I'm priming using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as per usual. So just doing my eyelids and I'm taking it underneath my lower lash line as well. Then I'm using Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow to start with. And I'm using a Sigma, I think this is an E40 blending brush. And I'm just applying this all into the crease and just messily buffing it all around that kind of area. Then I'm taking another Makeup Geek shade. This one's called Barcelona Beach. It's like a cool toned, like taupey, browny shade. And I'm just using the same brush just to focus this into the crease and bring it right into the inner corner. For the lid, I'm using this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Millionaire. So I'm just using my finger to apply this. I find my fingers work best to apply ColourPop shadows. Um, so I'm just using swiping and patting motions and just applying that all over the lid. And then I go in with this shade called 3 by ColourPop as well. And I'm just sort of placing this on the outer third of the eyelid. I don't think this made much of a difference, but um, yeah, this is what I did. Um, and then I go ahead and just blend out the edges of those shadows to make sure everything's nice and seamless. Here I'm taking a felt tip liner. This one is in the shade brown and it's just by Maybelline. Um, so I'm just creating a pretty thin line across my lash line and I am winging it out a little bit just to add a little bit of drama. And then going in with a black coal pencil, I'm just going to tight line my eyes and then give my lashes a curl and apply a coat of mascara. So the mascara I'm using today is this one by Rimmel. Um, I forget what it's called. It's something like the Mega Curler. I'll have it listed down below though. Um, and then I'm going in with falsies. My favorite falsies of all time, which are the Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes. So I'm just plonking those onto my eyeballs and giving my eyes some pizzazz. Back onto the face, I'm just going to conceal using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one's in NW20 and I'm just dotting this using my finger all down the center of my face and underneath my eyes and I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush to blend this all out. I love this brush for blending concealer out. It gives it such an airbrushed look. So just going ahead and making sure everything is nice and blended. Then I am setting my concealer using this shade from this Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And guys, we need to talk about this palette. I am so obsessed with this. It is, no joke, the best contouring kit I have ever, 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 ever used. And it's like $12, so I will have it linked down below. Um, and then I'm going ahead and taking the contouring like shade out of the palette and just going to contour my cheekbones. And can you see that? Like, do you see how beautiful this product is? I am so completely obsessed with it. It is so soft and blendable and just, oh, it is stunning. I love it, guys. It's my new favorite little product. So just applying that into all the normal areas. Then I'm using a, another new favorite, which is a Sigma blush. And I'm using this on a Wet n Wild brush, blush, brush, oh my gosh, um, which is another new product. I'm full of new products in this video. I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending it back towards my hairline. And then another new favorite is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Um, it's called a bronzer, but this is definitely a highlight. 
It's in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. So I'm just applying this to all the areas of my face. I want to look nice and glowy and I am obsessed. Then to set all this base in place, I'm just using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking Barcelona Beach once again on the Sigma E40 brush and just buffing this right underneath the lower lash line um, just to smoke everything out. To add a bit more depth, I'm using Americano by Makeup Geek and I'm just applying this mainly in the outer corner of the lower lash line and then I decided to bring that up into the crease just to add a little bit more depth to the look. So um, yeah, just adding that mainly in the outer third but into the crease. And then I'm taking Millionaire once again on my finger and I'm just applying this to the lower lash line um, just to give it a bit of a sparkle down there. And to highlight the inner corners, I'm just using MAC Nylon Eyeshadow, which is my favorite. And then I am applying some lower lash mascara. I'm just using the same mascara I used for my top lashes. Then to line my waterline, I'm using this ColourPop Gel Cream Liner. It's in the shade Get Paid, which is like a rose gold, beautiful coppery shade. So I'm just lining my waterline using that. And then for lips, I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Molly. And it is a gorgeous, cool toned, purpley pink shade. And after that, the look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one.